Well, hello YouTube. Today we're here in the off the 71 and uh, Grand for a tractor trailer that was coming off the freeway and flipped. Unfortunately, it slid under the bridge. What I'm gonna do for the first maneuver is uh, pretty much do a deadlift and swing it over where I can get under this pocket here where I get enough uh, boom height to be able to do the maneuver uh, safely without uh, risking uh, running out of cable. So we're gonna have to slide this over to, uh, to connect one of our container uh, links down to the bottom. So connect another one there and pull it. Uh, right now I'm gonna go ahead and check for, uh, for the pins, see if they're locked. They are. That one's locked too. This side of the way. No, that one's not locked. No, neither. I don't know, let me see. This one is a little bit. But before we upright, we're gonna have to make sure that that one's locked. Yeah. We might be able to reach it here. All right, that one's locked. This one's locked, but it's uh, a little wedged in. Right now when we pull it, we'll re readjust it. We'll attach a chain to the bottom. The top holes, we, we could put a container link. So go ahead and take those uh, chains up there. The top? Yeah. Caesar puts a, a chain to the bottom. We'll go ahead and connect these up here. Of course. Okay. Let's see. Gives me a little bit of space so Yeah, it does. Okay. Okay, that's one. Connect your snatch block, okay. and then you're gonna put the, the rope through here. And then I already put the pins over there, so I'll give you some shackles and just connect the shackles to this, okay? okay? Yeah, the, the, like this, so this thing you're gonna put it through here like this on your on your snatch block and these you connect it to the pin. I already put the pins there. Okay. So I'll give you the shackles right now. Question though. Yeah. Why are you doing like that? Why? Because all you're gonna do is by the time that you boom up or cable in, decide whatever, I'd rather you cable in. When you cable in, as we rotate this, it's gonna pretty much play around your wheel. Okay. And it's gonna equalize as we upright the, the container. Okay. So the only thing that you have to do is just lift it high enough where the tires don't catch the ground. It. It'll just do this the whole time. Yeah, it's called an equalizing sling. Okay.
as short as possible where I could get my hook on it. Well, actually, you know what? You, it doesn't matter. It's more for me. Hit it, huh? Well, you have to run the snatch block, so it doesn't matter what. Right now, just set it up. We're gonna connect it the moment that we're out in free space. Okay, okay so right now, just hook up your, your snatch block, run the cable there, and leave it there. I already put the shackles there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, it, it doesn't matter which cable, though? Not really. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Huh? Yeah. You don't have to, I do because I need the most cable. Because I'm under the bridge. You you have up open air. So it don't matter for me. Not really. That's the 20 degrees. down right here ready it's fine now. now the next one it's less than 20 degrees that's crazy oh I just got to deadlift a little by little right oh yeah that's what it was Go ahead and uh, hold it. Hold that side. Hey, swing over here. Okay, extend out. I have no angle and I'm like this and I'm <laughs> towards the front. Towards the front is the weakest. So you're not gonna be directly over, you're gonna be at an angle and as you're pulling, you're pulling away. So it helps me yank it and I could pull it, I could lift it little by little. Okay, boom down. Boom down. Okay. Okay, boom up.
album up. Come up, come up. You need height. It's gonna pull it towards you. Okay, boom down. No, uh, uh, boom in, sorry, I'm sorry. Okay, hold it right there. I'm gonna lift off little by little. You're gonna start winching. Let's stand here so we can see the truck. All right. Little by little. Try to pull more on the on the blue cable. Your blue cable is the other one, so that's white and blue. Okay. Your blue one, remember, is gonna be the one on the opposite side. The white one is this one closest to that corner. Okay. Let me go up and by a little bit just to give you a little bit of a release of pre uh, pressure. Good, 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 good. Keep going. Keep going little by little. I'm watching the truck. Go ahead. Good, 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 good. There you go. Go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. A little bit. If you're going too much with one, you have to go in with both of them. Okay, good. What happened? Give me from too close. Oh, go go with the other one. Lower on this one. All right, you gotta go even. See how one side is up? You gotta go. You gotta go both. Where they're even, where they're both even. All right, hold it right there. Go up. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Let me get closer to my truck. a hold up it's this let me see the remote real quick
was hanging up on that tire. Sorry, touching here. Let me see. Sorry, dude. This is a, I don't want you to swing too much because you're floating on your truck. I think it's 42. <laughs> That's heavy. What happened? You're just lowering it to On this one, yeah, because it, it basically you change the angle, you're getting yeah. farther. But the further you're away from your truck, the weaker you are.
get a little bit further out. Huh? Yeah, just so I can get enough height. right there should be good right there no yeah. we can move our trucks from there let me see one more a little bit more right there see what i did so sustain it yeah sustain it and then you start rotating because uh, you have drag with the front portion that tire since it's dug in yeah. it creates a lot more drag having to pull it forward and not only well obviously the front truck's a lot stronger but since I'm at a low angle, you create a lot more leverage this way, opposed to being high when you have height yeah. and being able to pick up and rotate because your center of gravity is closer to your truck. Right. So if you notice, as I'm lifting up, obviously it's creating a lot of body roll on the trucks. Yeah. So you're just trying to lift here. And it just yeah. So as we both rotate, down. as we both rotate, like on mine, it's 17,000. Seven, yeah, 17,000 pounds of, of swinging power. I'm not sure on the 50 ton, but it's close enough. So you have between the two trucks to mangle. Uh, to manhandle the weight and be able to get it out. Yeah. So I'm just trying to clear that sign so we could back up the trucks and have enough uh, boom height so we could just sure. basically flip it over and not have be under the be limited under the under the under. Bringing this, this over here, the sign or no, the no, just right, here? just right here in front of the okay. sign. Well, we'll back up, we'll square up with it, and we'll be able to lift it. When you want to roll, are you better to have your boom straight off your truck or like see how you're at an angle right now? Yeah. The strongest point is going to be towards the back at 30 degrees on the rotators. That's yeah. the strongest point. Uh, off the side, obviously being square with it, perpendicular to yeah. the truck, that's going to be your strongest, but it's not going to be as strong as being to the back okay. because you have all that leverage of the truck length. Right. Okay, so that's what uh, helps you. Do your guys' rotators, do they, do they slide back and forth at all? No, no, okay. no, no. Chris's doesn't either. Yeah. It's too heavy for California. Chris will talk about it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, Topapi, who? <laughs> I want to see him work two controllers. Oh. <laughs> All right, I think we should be fine right there. We'll lift up our outriggers, we'll de-rig, and then we'll square up with the truck. We'll square your truck first. Go ahead and lower it. Kick it out, so go ahead and boom out. Okay, go ahead and boom down now. That's fine right there. We have enough room on the opposite side. Okay, let me go up there, de-rig you. You'll go ahead and uh, swing and then we'll back up. So we're gonna put the middle of the boom directly right here. Just back up to around. Back up where, where you're in line with this, okay?
ahead and line up with the truck. Okay. Line up and then back up to it. Right. You're gonna connect that one to the, sh um, the to the link at the back. Yes. This one. Yeah. Yeah. That one. That one. Take this off. Okay, lift this. Put that in on that side. Give me that. This one. Unhook that one. Oh, put this in there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's that. Yeah, everything. I make sure everything's in line. Yeah, you don't want your your cables to twist, especially on this line, the lift line. The moment they start crossing, it starts rubbing against each other. Okay, hold it. Going with this one. Okay. Free spool this one. Oh, you wanted it like that. Yeah. Oh, my bad. That's cool. I, I saw how you had yours. And yeah. Okay. Go ahead and uh, yeah, pull that out. Is that, is that one free spool or you have to let it go? Tell Chris to fix the trucks. Huh? Tell Chris to fix the free spool. <laughs> Alright, go up. Just quick cable, cable. Go up with the cable again. Go, go, go. Go up with the cable. Alright, now it's in line, you see? Yeah. Yeah. Now we can close this. Um, what I suggest, so that way it doesn't get in the way of your lines, is run a strap and you could tie it up to this so that way it doesn't flip open. Okay. Oh, you're going to stand here with me. Okay, as we're flipping it. Uh, you want to flip this way? 
that yeah. over there? That way it doesn't catch, yeah. Got it? Yeah. That's fine, it won't, it won't twist there. So all you're gonna do is basically just go with the cable up, see? Yeah. I was ro as we're rotating, just see how it goes right there? Okay, so basically you're just gonna go with the cable up as we rotate, just don't let the, the tires uh, drag too much. Okay. So you have enough, I believe you have enough cable. That should be fine right there. If you need to go up a little bit, go ahead and go up with the boom up. Boom up a little bit? A little bit, yeah. It, but it should be fine right there. Okay. The only thing that you'll watch for is let me know if that cable uh, catches at the bottom. But as we're picking it up, it should clear that front part and pivot. Yeah, you don't want. You don't want? Yeah, because at that point it's gonna fight it. It's gonna fight it. Okay? Cool. Let me go over there, okay? Okay, so we're gonna go in both cables, okay? Follow my lead because my truck's a lot slower than yours. All right? See how my catch line looks? See your, your lift line is getting loose. Go ahead and catch up. Okay. Catch up on your catch a little bit. Follow my lead, okay? Do I load up on both or just one? No, just one, a little bit. See what I'm doing with mine? So what I'm doing with mine is that I'm I'm scooting it over little by little. You'll see it's gonna it's gonna wanna pivot right now. See how I'm pushing it away? Little by little. Okay, tighten up on both of yours. Okay, hold it right there. Tying up a little bit on the on the lift line. Okay, hold it right there. L tying up on the white. Okay, go ahead and and boom up little by little. Just slow. You're gonna see the tires go do 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 do. Slow. Slow. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, hold it. Let me help you a little bit. Okay, do it yours a little bit. Boom up. Slow, 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 slow. Don't let them lift off, because if it lifts off, it's going to want to take off on you, okay? So it's just slow until you just see the skip. You just want it to skip. If you want, what you could do is uh, go down on your catch line a little bit. Okay, hold it right there. Go up with your lift a little bit. Okay, hold it. Go ahead and uh, boom up a little bit, slowly. Yeah, go ahead and go a little bit more on yours. 
ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Slowly, slowly. See how they're starting to give a little bit? See, slowly, slowly. Go ahead a little bit more. Go ahead a little bit more. A little bit more, just a tiny little bit. A little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, let go down on your catch a little bit. We're gonna let go on the catch, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Hold it. Go down with yours. Go down. Okay, hold it. Same thing, go ahead and boom up a little bit. Boom up or down? Up. The blue? No, with uh, boom up oh. to get it to slide. You want it to slide away from your outriggers. It's slow, okay? It's gonna be very slow. Go up with it. See how it's sliding a little bit? Huh? Going up. Go with down with your catch. Go ahead and boom up again. Boom out. Boom out. Boom out. Boom out. Boom out. Boom out. Go down. Boom down. Okay, go down with your catch. Okay, go ahead and boom up, slowly. Boom down. Boom out. Boom down. Let go down of your catch. Let me see if you land on your outrigger, hold on. Boom up and boom out. Oh, boom out if you want. Boom out, boom out, boom out, boom out, boom out, boom out. All right, boom down. Or let go of your catch. Boom in. Okay, let go of your uh, of your lift line little by little. Cause I don't know if it's a if it's a shift to load. Boom in. That's out. Yeah, that's it. You're good. Good job, man. <laughs> Not too shabby. Right? <laughs> so you get like him, we'll put in shorts next time. <laughs> right? Like nothing. In boxers? I'm home. I gotta wash my knees and let's go. Good job, man. Good job. Appreciate it. There's a lot to learn, it really is. Yeah. Hey, so who do I talk to to get transferred to LA for training? You have to talk to Josh. I know Josh. Josh, yeah, he's a he's a main guy. Alright. Yeah.
that one goes up right there. There you go. Pepe's driver from Colton is going to go ahead and uh, tow this unit. We're pretty much uh, all done. We got it upright. The container's not leaning or shifted with the load. So we're just going to go ahead and let them uh, finish uh, hooking up. All right, guys, here from uh, Chino Hills, guys. Peace out. Welcome back YouTube, uh, my name is Alex and this is uh, Josh's Breakdown. Right off the bat you'll notice that there's uh, two new faces uh, in the video. One of them happens to be Caesar. he works with us at the, at the LA division and the other driver, his name is Ruben, he works for the Inland Empire division. And this call actually came through, um, through the Inland Empire division, uh, their uh, rotator operator Chris uh, wasn't available. So um, we ended up sending our own rotators out there to, to do the upright and vice versa. If, we, if we're not available somewhere, Chris will, will, will help us out. So uh, Pepe's is a, is a team effort, uh, whether it's in the LA division or in the, in the Indian Empire division, um, we're always uh, helping each other out. A couple of the comments I've seen on the, on the YouTube comment section is uh, they, they're always asking, oh, well, who's this or who's that or can we get a... Uh, pretty much a breakdown of all the drivers available and, and all the trucks available. Um, we're a, a fairly large company, so we do have a lot of drivers. And uh, when we get these uh, recovery um, calls through rotation or through private, um, normally whoever is closest to the area there, uh, we'll send them to 97 it. And uh, then we'll send our, our rotators here from the, from the yard to go respond. So if you work for Pepe's, you are going to have uh, recovery experience. Um, in this case, uh, Caesar, that was his first uh, um, recovery on a, on a rotator. You know. So um, as you can see, I'm, I'm pretty much guiding uh, the drivers that, that come with me and, and helping obviously the other driver too from Inland Empire understand what my game plan is. Um, because if I'm just there and you know calling shots and, and saying oh do this do that and, and they don't understand why I'm doing it, um, it could lead to uh, a, a disaster, it could lead to an accident, it could lead to a lot of different things. So I'm trying to avoid that and at the same time uh, give them guidance and, and teach them pretty much everything that I know uh, about a particular situation. So, because at the end of the day, we're, we're trying to get home. You know, we're trying to get to our families, we're trying to get to our kids and make it safe and, and you know, um, get the job accomplished. So it, it is my duty as, as uh, the senior experience um, operator there at the scene to, to get these boys uh, home safely and at the same time teach them for the next recovery so they understand what's going on. And, and this recovery, it was actually a, a two-part uh, lift, if you see it. Um, when the tractor trailer flipped over, it slid under the, the underpass. Um, the underpass was actually, I mean, in height-wise, it's kind of tall. But uh, if you notice, the degrees on my boom was showing less than 20 degrees, which is actually pretty shallow. Um, that limits the amount of cable that I'm able to, to go down to the casualty. So by the time that I upright, I'm not going to have anything or have any type of of um, lifting power at that moment because of the limited height. Uh, I won't have any cables. Uh, I, won't, I won't have anything pretty much to do the recovery at that moment. So I opted to pretty much deadlift it and swing it uh, under, uh, away from the underpass so I could definitely get that boom height um, away from the underpass, obviously. So I ended up um, deadlifting it in conjunction with Hulk in the back and you could see me going back and forth and controlling the the, the controls. Um, I'm not trying to to pretty much take control of the situation and oh let me give me your remote or give me that you know there's we don't have time for ego here at this point what it is is I'm trying to pretty much move everything uh, safely and accordingly um, and at the same time you know teach teach the drivers and then the other part of the lift obviously is it's um it was pretty much self-explanatory i um, 
we, we set up the trucks, we backed up um, perpendicular, square to the truck, uh, the casualty, and just did our, our standard uh, uh, flip. We ended up, you know, booming, booming over it, getting our, our platinum slings on the, on the lift line and going up. Um, as you can see in the video, I'm, I'm constantly guiding uh, Caesar and Ruben on either lowering the truck or, or go out with your lift line or go out with your catch line. And, and like I said, there's always a million ways to do it. Um, but at the end of the day, it's all about safe, uh, safety and um, doing the job correctly. And that pretty much uh, sums it up for this, uh, this breakdown. It was pretty short and concise. Um, just a standard rollover for us. Um, and at the same time, you know, if, uh, if you guys have any, any questions or anything that you guys uh, are pondering about, go ahead and put it on the comment section below. And we'll try to, we'll try to get through it with, with it be myself or, or Josh through the Pepe's account. Um, again, thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.